Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm collabing with the creator of the Face Off Challenge collab and that is the beautiful Danielle Perry. When she asked me if I wanted to collab with her on this one, I was like, hell yes, I am on that. I love that girl. So yeah, let's tell you a bit about this Face Off Challenge. Um, so basically, both of you agree on a palette to use. Um, in our case, we agreed on the Juvia's Place the Magic palette. And one of you picks five colours using a random number generator. And both of you have to use all five colours in your look. You can bring in eyeliner, glitter, um, stuff like that, but no other eyeshadow palettes. And you don't get to see each other's looks until they are uploaded. So it's, it's quite exciting to see what the other one picks and whether the looks are going to be similar or not. Um, so we will see. We will see. I have heard Danielle say that she has never managed to create the same look as someone else in a collab. So fingers crossed this continues that trend. If you want to know what I have on my face, I will have everything listed in the description box below. But for now, let's get into this and show you the five colours that Danielle picked. And they are, first we have Zuba, which is this beautiful shimmer pink here. Uh, then we have Aoife, which is this dark purple which I do know doesn't come out so dark purple on the eye. Um, Aja, which is this beautiful deep shimmer green. Um, Yejide, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these correct, which is this dark blue here. Another matte, which is great. And Zakia, which is this warm kind of brown up here this one throws me i have to admit but we will see so let's get into this look so i think first i am going to take a brush um first i'm going to dip into the deep blue yajide if that's how you pronounce it and I am going to place that I have primed my eye before this um, yeah I'm just going to create a bit of a shape here I think I know what I want to do but I always think I know what I want to do and I never do never never <laughs> it never works out that way so Danielle is an American YouTuber creator. She is such a lovely person, a really, really lovely person. She loves colorful looks, neutral looks. She's just really creative. And she is a fellow glitter lover like myself, which makes it all the more exciting. So, I can't wait to see what look Danielle creates because it's going to be an interesting one. It's never what you expect. She does some really creative looks and uh, I, I love to see what she does. Danielle's a really funny, down to earth, just lovely person it's like like watching a friend and uh, you feel like you're there with her I do feel the pressure collabing with Danielle being one the creator of the challenge the face off challenge and two being such a creative uh, person herself I do feel the pressure to uh, really up my game so fingers crossed I managed that 
I hope so. I know Danielle got married uh, earlier this year and uh, I've seen uh, some of the wedding pictures and oh my god she looks so beautiful just Danielle I love both of the dresses you just looked absolutely stunning really really beautiful and uh, I'm so so happy for you Hmm. I'm not sure if uh, this is going to plan at the moment, but time will tell. I might completely change my mind halfway through it. Because I think once you start seeing a look come together, it kind of gives you an idea. It creates more ideas. You kind of look and see, ooh that might work and uh, one of the biggest things I love about these collabs is uh, it really makes you think outside the box it makes you it really does make you challenge yourself to create something different and possibly put colors together that you wouldn't usually think to do so uh, I think it's a really really interesting one I will have Danielle's channel linked in the description box below along with her video so uh, you can see what she creates too. Um, I for one am very excited as I've already said. Um, I, I still can't believe she wanted to collab with me so Danielle thank you so much. I think you are just amazing. I love you and I can't believe you want to collab with me. So, yeah, very exciting. And I'm turning into a little girl here, so I'm going to shut up. So I think the next colour I'm going to go in with is Aoife, this dark purple. And I am going to place that. I'm going to start in here. Because what I want to do is bring that up see if this works and also use it to blend out the edge of the blue so let's see if this works these colors do look absolutely gorgeous together absolutely gorgeous I'm trying to round it out at the edge here and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush just to go over the edge there just to blend her out a bit more we're looking a bit mad at the moment we're looking a bit mad, but I'm sure I have faith in the process that this will come together. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to bring that blue in a little bit more to blend it with the purple. I just want to create a, a better transition from one colour into the other there. That's better. Yep, 
And I think that's going to do for now. So that's two of the colours down. Hmm. What do we do next? I think next we are going to dip into Adja, the uh, shimmer green. And I'm going to place that. I'm going to place that on the like mid to outer part of my lid here. And kind of blend it into the blue a little bit there. Yeah, I like that so far. This is a much darker look than I think I would usually do. It's definitely the going to be the darkest look I've created with this palette. Okay. So far pretty happy. And then just using the other side of that same brush think we are going oh crikey <laughs> sorry and uh, just using the other side of the same brush we're going to dip into Zuba the pink shimmer and I am going to place her on the inner part of the lid here I don't know if this is going to work so this is uh extreme trial and error but I'm up against Danielle so I've got to do good and that girl she does everything she can to lift other creators to encourage she's just a real asset to the the community real a real asset she's just she's lovely and I am so, so honoured that she wanted to collab with me. Still pinching myself. Yeah, I'm liking this actually so far. It's not quite what I was originally planning. I was just going to uh, put the, the green shimmer all over my lid and pop this in the inner corner. But I'm actually preferring this. I think this is uh, working out really nice. I think those colours actually blend really nice into each other. They create this really pretty transition. I really like it. Yeah. Definitely happy with that. What are we going to do with that Zakia? I don't know. <laughs> Um, hmm. So what, how many shades have I used? I've used four, so there is just Zakia left. Hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do. <laughs> Not so sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to take Zakia, this one, which is the last colour. And I'm going to place that on my lower lash line. Oh, I think it might work actually. I think this this could this could work. I will smudge it out a bit in a minute. Let's pick a brush to smudge. So let's dust that out a bit. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. We can bring the blue in as well. Could we have made this work? It's possible. It's definitely possible. <laughs> I don't know. We've got to try these things. You never know until you try. And we are trying. It was definitely not a colour that I would have picked to go into this look. Definitely not. But 
I actually don't think it looks too bad. Hmm. So I'm going to bring a bit of the blue under. I know it's cancelling out a bit of that, um, the uh, Zakia a little bit, but it's okay. It's all good. I used it. I used all five. It didn't say how much you had to use. And then I'm using the same brush, going to dip into a little bit of the purple and just bring that over the edge there. Okay, pretty happy with that. So I think I'm going to bring in some glitter, of course I am. Um, I've got some glitters from Immensus, um, which is I believe a UK indie brand that I haven't tried yet, um, but I really want to try them, I really do, and I think they'll be gorgeous with this look, and I know Danielle loves glitter too, so I'm expecting her to use some, and if not, I'm expecting her to like that I have. <laughs> So yeah, the first one is um, in sea green. I'm going to pop a bit of this one. Um, you don't need to put down any glitter glue or anything with these. You just pick them up and pop them on. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush actually. Let's use a bigger one. Ooh, pretty. Hmm, I don't think I like this as much as the With Love Cosmetics glitter, but it's pretty. It's pretty. And I am putting it over a darker shadow. Ooh, that's nice. So you guys, are any of you glitter lovers? I know uh, a lot of people don't tend to be. I think they worry about them being eye safe. Um, I love them too much to care, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, I do love glitter. I think if you're careful, it's, uh, I think it's okay. And then I'm going to use the Peach Passion over the pink a little bit and for this one I think I will take the smaller brush going to take a little bit of glitter glue and just pop it right in the corner here because I do want to I want to add a little bit of purple I hope this isn't too much cheating, Danielle. <laughs> I'm sorry if it is, but I couldn't resist being able to put some extra glitter on. So then I think I'm going to put a bit of this, another Immensus one, in the shade 
Violet Crush. I'm going to pop a bit of that in the inner corner. Right, okay, it doesn't pick up with that brush very well. Let's try this one. Ooh. I might have gone a little bit overboard, maybe a little bit, but we will see what it looks like when I have completed my makeup and got my lashes on and my liner and everything. So we will see. <laughs> so I'm going to head off camera, um, finish my face and then come back with you to show you the final look. So this is the final look. What do you think? I uh, I think I may have gone a little bit overboard with the glitter, but I love it. I love to glitter. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'll be interested to hear what you think. Danielle, let me know what you think, lovely. I know you're a fellow glitter lover, but did I do too much? Let me know. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much, Danielle, for doing this with me. I have had a great time as always, um, but especially doing a collab with you. You are wonderful. I love you, girl. Um, so that's it from me for today. If uh, you have liked this, please give me a thumbs up. Um, it really helps me out. And subscribe if you're not already and if you're over from Danielle's channel hi welcome it's great to have you here I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next so thank you so much for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have so yeah I will see you all again very very soon goodbye